You'll have had your tea, the doings of Hamish and Dougal. Today, the musical evening. Hamish. Dougal! You'll have had your tea. Well, no. Oh. As a matter of fact, oh, I was... Oh, uh, I've just finished mine. <laughs> and mine, too, by the looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to your company later on. How would that be, Dougal? Oh, Hamish, I'm having a musical evening. Aye, well, I'm the same after a baked bean supper. <laughs> oh, no, 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 man. And entertainment... Jings, what fun we'll have. There'll be high jinks in the glen and no mistake. I don't doubt it. But I'm bursting to know. What on earth have you laid on? I don't know, but it's stained the back of my kilt. <laughs> no. No, no. But, but the entertainment. Oh, a rare treat, Hamish. Did you ever see the Edinburgh tattoo? Well, I glimpsed it once when you were changing your spot. No, <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking about the great national spectacle. So am I. <laughs> oh, what am I thinking of? Come away in, man, and rest your weary feet. Pull up a chair. There's one in the cellar. <laughs> Thinking of Glory be, what was that? Oh, I'm in the middle of making a haggis. <laughs> That's handy. I've just been to the baker's. Could you fancy a bannock cake? That I could, old friend. But would I respect it in the morning? <laughs> That's what you've got to ask I yourself. Know. True, true. Well, I are we and that's the neat. Tim, me, what the nurse was that? That was Mrs. Nochty herself. Oh. Where the devil are you, you willful minx of a cleaning lady stroke housekeeper? I'm over here concealing myself behind this tussock. Whatever would you be doing that for, woman? I'm just out of the bath. Glory be, is it September already? I was drying myself behind the tussock. Very wise, you didn't want to get a rash. Uh, well... Howl down briskly, Mrs. Nochty. Bundle yourself into your bloomers and be about your business. This place is a tip. And tonight I shall be entertaining. That'll be a change. Oh. <laughs> the parlour is a shambles. Look, look, there's a moose caught in the trap. Oh, me. Has it tangled its poor wee antlers in the mechanism? <laughs> no, it's a wee, sleek, it cowering, timorous beastie. Oh, a moose. I thought you said a caribou. <laughs> Who's that banging at the door? It's me, and I want to get out. <laughs> I've got to do my shopping list for tonight. Let's see, I'll need a pencil... And paper. Well, write it down, woman. Write it down. You'll only forget. <laughs> How will I write it down? Wait. I've got a felt tip and a yellow sticky. <laughs> <laughs> but you keep smiling. Uh, <laughs> every day's a bonus. <laughs> are expected tonight. Well, I'm hoping for a big turnout. You'd better get that over before the party starts. <laughs> so, uh, who's been invited? Oh, well, let's see. There's Tim the butcher, Tom the baker, and Tam the flasher. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, the Carburetta twins and Carol Smiley. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, those are just a few of those who've said they couldn't make it. <laughs> What about Mr. McLeish from Diner Rod? Uh, he's pulled out. Damn. Oh, oh, what? Damn his eyes. Bless me, is that the time? It is, 20 past five. Oh. <laughs> Come along, we must hurry up to the big hoose. I'm inviting the laird and we ought to deliver his invitation in person. Then we'd better hurry. <laughs> Thank you. 
You're right. We'd better hurry. <laughs> Come on! Oh! the front door of the laird's big hoose. I uh, should have pulled this. No, he might be looking. Uh. <laughs> Hello, your lairdship. It's me, Dougal. And Hamish. Dougal. Yes. Come away in, Dougal. And Hamish. Now then, what do you fancy? Brandy and Snifter? Oh, I should say so. <laughs> Down, Brandy. Down, Snifter. <laughs> Wow. How about a drink? Oh, I'll just have a wee nip. Ouch! Dandy! Snifter! Go to your baskets. It's time for your weaving. <laughs> I had hoped for a son, you know. <laughs> now then. Say when? Well, I'm free on Friday after six. <laughs> You know, now, what's all this about? Well, you remember last week I ran into you in the supermarket. Yes, you don't expect to see a tractor in there. <laughs> it was on special offer. And I mentioned to you on the way to the hospital I'd be having a musical evening. Well, tonight's the night. Splendid. Ah, that's better. Now, what can I get you to drink? <laughs> It's party time! Now then, I see you've all got a drink. Could we not have one each? Go! Oh. <laughs> oh, very well, you hellraiser, you. Mrs. Nochty, where have you been? I've been getting ready for my dance. Do you like the fishnets? Very nice, but you might have taken the herring out first. <laughs> and is that an ostrich feather? No. Oh. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for Mrs. Nochty's party piece. Oh, what is it you'll be doing, Mrs. N? It's the dance of the seven voles. The dance of the... <laughs> Do you not mean seven veils? No, that's what the man in the pet shop said. <laughs> pet shop? I... Is that where you got that ostrich feather? No. <laughs> oh, Mrs. <laughs> And the dance of the seven of fools! Oh, my goodness! I'm seeing Mrs. Nochty in a new light! <laughs> oh, the exotic wee temptress! Look at those beads! Oh, I know I've never seen her sweat so much! The voles seem to be enjoying it, right enough. <laughs> well, for them it's a night out. <laughs> How does she get those voles twirling in opposite directions like that? Oh, oh, hello. Where's that wee rascal going? <laughs> Six. Give it some, Mrs. Nochty. Get him out for the lab. <laughs> What a tease! Aye. The seven voles, and one by one, she put them on. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Nochty. Mrs. Nochty will be signing your sausage rolls at the kitchen door later on. <laughs> but now his lairdship has kindly consented to favour us with a wee song. Hurrah! Hurrah! Yes, and tonight, Dougal, I am going to be Atomic Kitten. <laughs> And will you sing us a song first? <laughs> I'm rather spoiled for choice when one considers their cornucopia of chart entries. <laughs> but I'm going to plump for Eternal Flame, their cover of the original version by the Bangles. 
Take it away, my sweet lad. <laughs> Close your eyes, give me your hand, darling. Do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you feel the same? Or am I only dreaming? Is this burning and eternal shame? I believe it's meant to be, darling. Who I watch you when you are sleeping. You belong to me. Do you feel the same? Or am I only dreaming? Is this burning an eternal Well, Dougal, that was a night to remember. What was? <laughs> Last night. Oh, oh, my head feels like the bottom of a Turkish wrestler's birdcage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jings, there's a pair of boots here. Oh, they'll be the lads. Oh, it's just as well he's still in them. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Hey, oh, oh, a pot of tea for two in the Daily Telegraph. This is my niece, you understand. <laughs> and look at poor Mrs. Naughty leaning out of the window. Oh, that's a hell of a hangover. Oh, <laughs> Dead heat in a Zeppelin race. Oh, God. <laughs> Good morning, hen. She can't hear you. No, there's a hen on the mantelpiece. <laughs> and, oh, oh, who's done this in the ashtray? Oh, in the shape of the Taj Mahal. Oh. <laughs> Saying that, you've got to admire the workmanship. <laughs> You're not thinking of keeping it, are you? Oh, no, no, no. Mind you, if we stamped it a wee gift from the subcontinent, we could sell it at the trinket shop. <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Nott is awake. <laughs> now, I really must be getting home. Of course, Your Lordship, and thank you so much for gracing our wee gathering. And you can't leave without your going home present. Oh, how frightfully kind. What is it? It's a wee gift from the subcontinent. <laughs> You'll have had your tea. The doings of Hamish and Dougal was written and performed by Barry Pryor and Graham Garden, with Alison Steadman as Mrs. Nocty and Jeremy Hardy as the lead. Music was arranged by John Garden and performed by Claire McTaggart, Francis Dawling, Scott Hammond and Pete Rosser, with assistance from the Banbury Pipe Band. The producer was John Naismith. <laughs>